So, in here, we already have the smart plug. Kita na to ang yung readings, ano niya, through an app sa itong phone, which is muna na ito ang ginagamit, Turmi. Good day, good afternoon, o may hapon sa tanong. So, for this time, we also have this Ache. Kasama ka! Kasama yung kontra na mo! Iksaba! Okay, so before that, let me do a little shout out sa mga commenters na to on our previous videos. Especially on the review of the Zeho EA8. So this comment is requested for shout out. So first and foremost, I will do personally shout out Sir Hill Abadines Jr. So he was requesting for a long drive. So videos will be coming up in the next week or so. And also a big thanks to Sir Jok Yuki. I hope na pronounce na ko tarong imong pangansar. So Sir Jok Yuki, thank you kayo for sa sa imong comment po regarding sa mga additional features nga I have not discovered sa Zeho EA8. And hopefully <clears throat> na patay ma discover nga new things about this uh, electric uh, scooter. So thanks again for all the commenters sa atong section. So di na to mga pangalan tanan but Thanks a lot sa inyong comments and support. So, if you want your names to be shouted out on the next vlog or the next videos, please feel free to comment down in the section below para mapashout out tamo sa sunod nyo mga videos. Okay, stay safe and thank you. Okay, so, balik na ako. Good afternoon o may hapon sa tanan. So, we already have this unit, the Zeho EA8 for about uh, three weeks already and for this time try na to nga i-charge ni Zia and ato try i-compute kung how much does it cost for you to charge the Zeho EE8 at a full charge okay but before that just like to point out kung um, sa nga type of batteries nga uh, naa within the Zeho EE8 okay so As you all know, kani siya nga Zeho EA8. Aside from the batteries nga naadir eh, which is the lithium-ion batteries, kani siya. Nasa na siya ilaing battery, there is a bus, which is this one. So this is a 12 volt battery that powers up the instrument panels, lights, headlights, and all. But, I'm just wondering kung kung saan siya pag-charge. So, ako kibaw kung ma-charge ba ni siya during po sa charging po sa ito ang lithium-ion batteries. So, siguro today, we'll find out kung ma-charge ba sa ni siya by the time na mag-charge po ka sa imo ang battery sa main battery and by the way ang charging port na niya is na address ubos sa lingkuran na just eh, ubos ubos gamay okay so just need to open this one as I cover and muna yung mga terminal sa sudo okay tong down aroma okay and also I have there the charger itself so atong ang bihan ng charger Okay, so this one is the charger. So, kanina siya nga charger is carry on rin siya. Pwede rin mo siya madaladala. Anytime, anywhere. Huwag mo na yung specification sa charger. This is a 750 watt charger. Which charge at output voltage of 57 to 79 volts. Okay. 
at maximum output of 5.5 amps. So, kanin siya nga charger is mogin na yung dedicated na charger. So, today, we'll find out if kung mag-charge ka sa main battery, mag-charge ba sa ang katong gamay nga battery, which is the 12 volt battery, which is, I think, kung na to siya, deep cycle or uh, deep cycle battery that powers up the instrument panels okay okay so for us to check later if the deep cycle battery is the charge basad on your charger we'll test first the voltage of the battery the 12 volt battery and check if how pila sa diyang voltage kung mag start ng charge so supposedly kung mag charge ka it should be higher than the nominal voltage okay so also para matest na to kung pila ka watts ang magamit to compute for the battery magamit ta og smart plug okay so in here we already have the smart plug kita na to ang readings ani niya through an app sa itong phone which is mauna na itong ginagamit or me okay no so to check the smart plug kung pila itong magamit niya later sa pag compute na to sa iyong cost sa power so we will use this app so that one is at uh, Toya smart plug na nadiri sa iyong application so here online na siya smart plug so currently naka off stage siya karon and then siya ay uh, energy meter so with the energy meter may baw ana to kung pila ang iya hang consume nga watts pila ka wattage ang iya consume after mag charge iya so dani siya initial reading kay ato man guning gigamit sa balay somewhere so kani siya nga reading which is 0.2 uh, kilowatt what are ato na siyang i-deduct sa ato ang magamit niya so take lang ang screenshot ok so damo na na to ang charger ok so charger is ano na ready na so, before na to isaksak ang charger aso tayo test itesa na to ang voltage sa 12 volt battery So, purposely, ako ganyan gitangta ang cover to see the current voltage. Okay, so test na nato ang voltage. Negative, positive. So it is now at 12.85 volts. So kani siya nga battery. So check na to later kung musaka ba ni yung voltage during sa charging. Okay. Okay, so nakaplug na ang main supply sa ito ang charger ano siya so naka turn off pa din siya karon and ato na yung isaksak ang charger so pag saksak ano niya na na siya lock and latch para masulod yun siya permanently sa imuang charger Huwag diri sa imuhang charging port. Okay. So, ito na yung inay lang. Okay. So, na siya yung gamayin click. 
here. So, 6 to 8 nga tight siya. Dili siya mahulbot. Okay. So, ready na itong charger. Plug na. So, ready na ito i-turn on. So, pag turn on, gamito na itong smart plug. As you can see, wala pa tayo readings dito yun. Zero pa. Okay, it's now turn on. So, turn on. Blinking red. Blinking red meaning nag-charge na siya. And, karun, we are now charging from 45% battery. Okay. So, check na ito later kung pila ka hour siya ma full charge and pila ka kilowatt hour. So, karoon nag-start na ang readings. No? So, karoon na tayo 3,979 milliamps current with a total of 856 watts. Okay. So, karoon ato i-verify kung pila yung voltage sa uh, 12-volt battery. So, nakasaksak na ang charger. Let's see kung ma-change ba ang voltage. Ano eh. Okay. So, confirm no. Voltage is at 14.26. So, ang mo-charge po day ano eh, is ang imuhang charger po. Na Uh, simultaneously, magdungan sila og charge sa lithium-ion batteries, which is the main battery for the motor. Okay. At least, kibalon ako. <laughs> so, previously, atong reading before, it is 12.8 something. So, karon while charging, it's now at 14.27 volts. Okay. Here it's fourteen point twenty seven volts. So confirmed while charging. Okay. So while charging the main battery, this one also charges with the same charger. Yes. Okay. So we'll check later. Kung pila ka wattage ang makonsume, and we'll compute for the total battery consumption and a single charge okay. see you later so it's already night time to be in ah huwag mo ni ang total kilowatt hour na na consume while charging the battery So, as you can see, it is 3.03, tapos i-deduct na ito itong 0.2 kaganina, it would be 2.83 kilowatt. So, basing sa charges na ito from Beko, wala siya mga current charges karon that would equate to a total of 16.94 pesos per kilowatt hour. So, kung ato na siyang i-multiply sa 2.83 per kilowatt, so it would come up at around 47.94 pesos. So, imagine 47.94 pesos, so approximately 50 pesos from 45% of battery. So, layo-layo na kagmadagan sa imuhang single charge. For example, no. So, so in the long run, makatipid ra yun di hapon kasi mo fuel. For that matter, fuel. Since charge na ni mo siya sa balay and at full charge, approximately you will be able to cover more than 100 kilometers. Okay. So so far for the testing, sa charging, okay siya. And full charge at around 2 to 3 hours from 45%. So maybe kung i-drain na ito siya to 
20% uh, depth of discharge so it will probably reach around 4, four hours of charging okay so if you think that this video is helpful for you then just give it a like and share it with your friends see you in the next one